morning you guys so today the lighting better i am taking d to the pediatrician he has a big dermatologist sorry i keep saying that so just to go ahead and let you guys know um the like love that you guys were giving on my last video of taking him to the pediatrician for his acne um was so good and he doesn't mind going ahead and sharing it because he says that it's like real life and that's what teens go through so i mean i didn't know that you could take him to the pediatrician and get medicine for it and then they're ending up referring us over to the P uh, dermatologist so we have some errands that we need to go ahead and run. I will show you guys his face because it looks so good and it's only been one week on the medicine that he's taking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my shoes and then my husband is standing something outside which I will show you guys. But we have some returns we have to do. Go to the bank, just like little errands like that. We're gonna um, do some steaks tonight and yeah so i just plan on filming and giving an update on uh, that kid right there <laughs> and i'm um, going from there you know i had got comments on my last video when i shared the casino game saying like wow you're sponsoring you're doing a sponsor with a casino game like basically that's pretty low <laughs> and I'm just like what do I do every single night before I go to bed play games on her phone literally and who usually finds me new games to play me who else in the family plays games like crazy in California no no <laughs> so that's where I get no. it from my mom Nana plays a lot of like little casino games yes so I'm like, I guess apparently I need to share that I play games more often because some people didn't believe me. <laughs> yeah, no, every single night before she goes to bed, my, my dad will watch TV to fall asleep and then my mom will be playing games on her phone. So anyways, back into this Ooh. guy right here. One week on mm -hmm. medicine, so he's been taking an antibiotic now. A lot of people were trying to say like, um, just put a big thing of water in your mouth and take down the pill. Oh my god, okay, yeah, so um, you prescribe me a freaking pill. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead and take applesauce and put it in the middle and just swallow the applesauce. I'm like, we have tried everything, people. He could not get down the pill. He, We actually wasted three pills. Okay, not wasted. Well, I'm I saying wasted and trying to get them yes. down. So he tried everything we tried him eating food and just putting it in like i am one that doesn't take pills very easy so i know what it takes and even my tricks weren't working so i ended up he tried though i tried he tried and i got it and i was like throwing it to the back of my tongue and i was trying to swallow it but when i tried to swallow it, it just wouldn't go wouldn't down, go down. <laughs> i'm like what i'm trying to like i was physically trying to swallow it and it was like my brain was like, nope, we're not going to do this. Nope. So I ended up calling the pediatrician and asking if they could just do it in a liquid form. And they couldn't do that particular one in a liquid form, but their next highest, like, one that they issue out, they were. So I went, <coughs> picked it up, don't worry, not COVID. Um, yeah. I went, who else is, like, extremely oh afraid God. to, like, cough in public? Because I feel like everybody's going to turn around and be like. Even when I go to school. And like someone like coughs, it's like everybody's just kind of like <laughs> giving them okay. the look. Or like you think you when you sneeze, everybody's just kind of like fixing their mask, making sure it's all good. <laughs> Anyways, so we ended up getting the liquid. He started the ointment like topical, um, and he is not on Accutane. A lot of people said like Accutane is what worked for them. Um, the medicine that they are giving him right now is actually working. Mm -hmm. Give you guys a close up. Mm -hmm. Like his nose, the coloration, his chin, 
everything seems to be going mm -hmm. back um so we will see what the dermatologist says um we have an appointment in about 30 minutes but i'm interested to see if they're gonna issue him like a certain face wash and cleanser or to do anything about getting rid of some of the scarring um so we will see what they say i will go ahead and let you guys know um but right now the medicine one week yeah just one week and one thing the biggest thing that i have noticed taking the medicine that i am on right now is the redness has gone down like tremendously, tremendously. because my nose and my chin used to be really red and now it's for the first time in forever and i in like for a the while first time in forever. yeah my nose is finally looking normal color because before it always used to be bruised um red, red just <laughs> ugly right and now finally it's like it's starting to get to that regular color and i'm just like wow my chin is starting to get like that and a lot of my pimples are not even coming that much to the surface they'll be there and then my medicine will autom automatically kick in and take it away yeah it's so crazy I had to deal with like popping any pimples or dealing with like I, I, in the past week, I've had one white pimple on my face. Mm -mm. Like, and I know a lot of people, like mass majority, everybody says dairy is causes a lot mm -hmm. of acne and all that stuff to go ahead and come out. And he doesn't drink cow milk. He actually, his tummy can't tolerate it. He's like my husband. No, and see what sucks. Like Daddy. Yeah. So he's already on almond milk and... Um, but he's still a kid, so it's like, yes, he wants ice cream. Yes, yes, like, I love ice cream. He wants yes. to go ahead and eat chocolate. Like, he's still a kid. That's where I come in, and I'm trying to find the balance where medicines and stuff can help him because what I don't want is for his body to get used to no dairy whatsoever and then God forbid he eats something with dairy and then he's sicker than a dog and it's like he's still a kid he needs to be able to enjoy the good things in life so so anyways now that I've been rambling for eight minutes I just wanted to give you guys an update then also really 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 fast my husband and D built a bench for outside for a table, which will be another video. I will go ahead and put together that. So initially there was going to be two benches. So my husband was going to go ahead and build one. I was going to show the finished product and then show him building the second one. Well, now we narrowed it down where it's just going to be one and then chairs around the rest. So there's not a second bench for me to show <laughs> being built, yeah. but I will show you guys what he did, how he did it and how it looks. It looks amazing. And I'm so proud of him. D helped him the whole time and now it's kind of given my husband even more of a boost mm. to build other things so he's gonna build a bench for the kitchen table mm -hmm. because we can't find a freaking chair for the life of us um and then also i'm having a hard time finding a coffee table for the living room we got new sofas they'll be in on sunday that's a whole story in itself i'll explain in another video but um we I can't find a coffee table that I like that isn't like eight hundred dollars. So my husband's like, I'm just gonna try and build one. Yeah, literally every time we go into the furniture store, my dad's like, I can build, I can that. build it. I can build that. I, I can, can do that. that. I call him Dan the Builder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's just like, Oh, that's crazy. You just do this, 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 and that. He's like, I'll take pictures, I'll look up on Pinterest, I can build oh it. Oh my god, he <laughs> on Pinterest. He's the cutest thing yeah. ever. I love my husband. Let me go check okay, my you guys. Pen. We are back home. We are taking all the Christmas stuff down, getting all that situated. Um but my husband just did the bench and brought it outside, so I want to show you guys. We went ahead and painted it black, and it looks so good. Look how good this looks. So we did this to go with the dining room table. I have another video on that that I will go ahead and share with you guys, probably the video after this. Um, but we took our old kitchen table and put a waterproof something or another on it so then it can be outside on the patio and so my husband built this bench doesn't it look so good husband and son yes danny helped with it too cut every single piece my husband yeah, sanded in between so the game plan was to build two of these, but then we end up having enough chairs where we only need one for one side. 
So my game plan was to show you guys the finished product and then film the second one, him building. But since we only ended up doing one, what he did was built like this kind of box right here. Um, and then he used the, we did 18 inches um, because that's what the kitchen table like seats were, 18 inches. And so that is the depth. And then we did it 60 because this Miles. was in between um, the table. Oh, it looks good with the lighting right now. <laughs> um, and so these are just two by fours. And we have one two by four going all the way across in the front and also in the back to help support. And then he went ahead and screwed them each in just regular two by fours. He went ahead and cut them down. He sanded them, then also sanded the edge. So it was just like a little bit rounded. Um, so it wouldn't get you made sure everything was smooth, put a primer on it. And then is this satin, right? It did a satin black on it. So it looks amazing. So that sunset out, or I guess kind of the sunset outside, it just looks so beautiful. So my husband and Dee are in the garage like cleaning it up and like kind of using the air compressor to get like all, I, I don't know, the correct terminology, the like sanding stuff, like all the dirt and everything from when my husband was doing the bench out. Um, Neve is cleaning her room right now and then I am doing the dishes i gotta wait for my husband to take down the christmas trees um so then we can get that put away then i can do the floors you know it's like a whole thing i mean my husband's robe because it was so cold outside <laughs> um but we are just like really enjoying just everything it's just so beautiful out here and just like those sunsets are all the time anyways really fast i wanted to update you guys on d um from the dermatologist so they are giving him a face wash um along with an antibiotic that it is a pill but he said he can't remember if it's like one that you can open up or just like a straight pill but he's like, if it's a straight pill, you can just smash it and get it down. And if it is the powder, you can go ahead and open it up um, on this one. So that's good. Um, but, and then also another cream. He said that the stuff that he's using now is a good, but the stuff that he's prescribing is even better. So if we saw such a huge change in just a week with the stuff that he said is good, but he's doing better stuff, I can't even imagine um, how his face is going to end up looking. So we are really, really excited. Um, I still need to go pick him up at the store. So I kind of forgot what he said that they are called. So definitely stay tuned in another video for that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a teen skincare routine <laughs> video for acne. Um, but I did want to go ahead and touch on the furniture in here um if you guys remember we ordered a sofa that is just like the sectional in the movie room but instead of it being a sectional it's actually just like just a straight sofa and it's cream well we ordered it back in october from Macy's and it just took forever like it kept getting delayed kept getting delayed kept changing delivery dates and finally when they changed it for the fourth time and they got bumped the second time for January delivery I was like I'm done we got ordered this thing back in October and they just keep moving the date I'm done so I ended up canceling it and we drove it down to living spaces um, over in Gilbert and sat on this one sofa um, by like the brand by Joanna Gaines and we ended up ordering it and it's coming in on Sunday so by the time this video goes up it'll probably already be delivered so I have a lot of videos coming you guys um, I'm gonna have the movie room kind of reveal if you guys remember we were doing accent wall in there um, 
there's a lot of work that we've done in there and we were building the bench or not the bench the like shelf to go on the wall so i have that video i have the outdoor patio video i have this video i'll have the furniture video um also the other two rolls that i needed to order for the wallpaper for the bonus room back here are coming in so we're gonna go ahead and do the wallpaper that will be a video so just like a lot of house updates and um in january we're gonna get back on track financials uh, there's been a lot of spending going on and we've been doing our best on doing cash um, if we do put on a credit card it's something that I can pay off within a month or two and so we are gonna get back on financials and grocery shopping deals and cooking good meals because I've gained weight over this like uh, staying home situation um, so there's gonna be a lot of good content coming um so definitely go ahead and stay tuned for that okay you guys it is a new year's eve it's a couple days since the last time i picked up today's thursday and last day i filmed was tuesday so not actually too many days in between but i told you guys that we were going to do steak dinner and we ended up holding off on tuesday and just wanting to do it for new year's eve um so i was just going to show you guys how i know i have a video on this so i'll try and link it down below but we're doing steak dinner, mushrooms, twice baked potatoes, and then we had broccoli and the broccoli went bad. And then I went to the grocery store and I got Brussels sprouts to do like balsamic vinegar at vinegar Brussels sprouts and the grocery store forgot to give them to me. So thank God we have frozen corn <laughs> and I also made a flan so the flan is in the oven. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys my tablescape. It is just us. Uh, my husband's side of the family was going to be coming down um, ch plans changed last minute so it is just us which we are fine with um, but we still wanted to go ahead and get dressed up and do the table nice and still have a nice dinner and everything so I want to show you guys what it looks like so this is how it looks I literally almost had everything to do the tablescape like this um, I did pick this up over at Walmart it was only a couple dollars um, and then the place is setting itself. I had these. These are what I use for Christmas. I had got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, I want to say like four years ago or so. So I already had these. These are the plates that I use for Halloween. Um, so I had these. These are clear plates that I've had, I want to say for about a year now. Um, and then these are the napkins that I used for Christmas. So I already had these and then for Christmas I love these because I just feel like it looks like a snowflake but then for New Year's I'm like it looks like a firework. <laughs> and so I did end up ordering the black napkins from Walmart um, and just doubling them up. So that this is the reason why I always say stick with your basic colors because you can layer them completely different and make a beautiful table setting so um, stick with whites black silvers golds and i promise you it'll look beautiful this table runner is actually the christmas one i just folded in like the christmas looking ends and so we have that um these i already had on both ends and then this is just a vase that i already had from flowers and these are a dollar from the dollar tree so four dollars and i picked those up and then i got a box of these like fairy lights and just did that and look how beautiful it is and then the other day we were at at home and so i just got these like glass little votive candle holders um so i just got four of them and just kind of placed those out so that's how it looks it looks so pretty i love it we got to get back to the steaks um i just went ahead and sauteed the mushrooms in a little bit of butter once you kind of see that they are nice and soft i just put in a sherry cooking wine um i do keep a little bit at the end so as soon as the mushrooms start absorbing and soaking up all of this flavor i will hit it with just a little bit more and give it like a second round and they taste so good you guys like i had to get a big old tub 
um, of mushrooms just because my family eats these up so much. And, and now I'm just gonna do some baked potatoes, put them in the microwave so they cook up fast, get them out, scoop them, and then do my mixture, put it back in the potato, and then put them in the oven for twice the baked potatoes. Then as soon as these are done, I will go ahead and get the steaks on since the steaks cook up really fast. Um, so that's what we're gonna do right now. For me um i know you guys will be seeing this after the new year so i hope you guys had a great safe new year the only thing i am hoping for 2021 is for everybody to stay safe and healthy <laughs> i think um that's all i'm not really having too many goals for 2021 seeing how 2020 worked out so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe there's gonna be so much stuff that we're doing here inside the house new content coming live at you guys every tuesday and friday is usually when i post uh don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you guys in the next one bye you guys